Hello? Hello? What? What? Who's that? This is God. The one true God. God? Really? Wow, there's so much I want to ask you. Wow, you have all the answers to the scientific and philosophical questions that we've always wondered about. Yes, and I come here with good news. I love you so much that I'm going to save you. Uh, uh, save me? Yes, yes, I take your burden. Your price has been paid. Um, what, what price? Save me from what? I've saved you from eternal separation from me after you die. From hell. Separation? What, hell? What is that? Hell, a place of eternal fire, a place of nothing but pain and punishment forever. But fear not, my beloved child, as you needn't be sent there. Sent into a lake of fire forever? By who? Well, by me. By you? What for? Well, for your rebellion against me. Rebellion against you? Uh, hold on. Uh, exactly which god are you? I'm Yahweh. Or Jehovah. Well, Yahweh, nice to meet you. Now, um, why do you want to punish me for eternity? Well, I made the rules for everyone and set them out very clearly. You rebelled against my rules. Oh, did I? Uh, wh where are the rules? What are they? Haven't you read my book? Book? Yes, I wrote a book. The greatest book the world has ever known. The greatest message of love and the perfect guide to morality. I dictated it to a desert tribe in the Middle East about, um, well, between two and five thousand years ago. You haven't read it. No? What did it say? Well, you know, be kind to each other, treat people the way you want to be treated, plus there are a few hundred other pages of really violent stuff about killing that uh, doesn't really matter anymore. Right, but when people decided to not treat others nicely, you decided you would throw them into a lake of fire for all of eternity as punishment? No, no. The way it started, you see, there was this tree, right, which I told them not to eat off. But they did, uh, so everyone goes to hell. Who's they? The first man and woman. Your ancestors. Right. So they ate off the tree, and you decided that you should punish them in a lake of eternal fire forever. Well, yes. So where do I come into this? Well, the good news is that since the time when all that happened, I've saved you from the punishment for what they did. Uh, I'm getting punished for what someone else did? That's hardly fair. You call that just? Yes, I'm perfectly just. It's absolutely fair and just that you be burned forever for their crime. You are a direct descendant. But, now, let's get back to the point. Since I don't want you to go to hell... You don't? No, of course not. I don't want anyone to go to hell. Well, why are you going to send us all there? Because I have to. Those are the rules of the universe. Now, will you just let me finish? Sorry. Since I don't want you or anyone else to go to hell, I made myself into a man a few thousand years ago in the Middle East and had myself killed. Mm, I don't get it. Well, it was a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice. I paid your price. Paid? To who? Well, to me. To you? Yes. So you sacrificed yourself to yourself so that you wouldn't have to send me to hell for my ancestors having eaten from a tree you told them not to eat from. Yes, well, that and everything else that people have done. It's just I told them that I didn't want them to eat from that tree and I gave them free will so that they had the option to not obey me if they didn't want to and they disobeyed me. They ate from the tree, so they, and every single human being who ever lives, has to be sent to hell after they die to burn forever. Sent to hell by you? Yes, of course by me. Who else has the power to take someone's soul and have it punished and tortured for eternity? Hmm. But I made it so you don't have to go to hell anymore. Isn't that great? See how much I love you? Because of this human sacrifice in the Middle East. Yes, I purchased your forgiveness. You purchased it from yourself? Yep. Purchased it with my own blood. Well, why not just forgive? What? Well, why not just forgive? What do you mean? Well, you're God. You're all-powerful. You don't want to send people to hell, so just don't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm afraid it doesn't quite work that way. Well, why not? No one's going to argue with you if you don't send them to hell. So just change your mind if you want to, and then you don't have to send anyone to hell, do you? I'm God! I don't just change my mind! I'm always the same. I never change. I'm eternal! Never? 
Well, on some things maybe, like, say, almost all of my book. But this is about my laws that I haven't changed my mind about. In the beginning, I gave people free will and the freedom to disobey me if they choose. But if they choose to disobey me, then I send them to hell. Well, why give them free will? I wanted them to do my will voluntarily because they loved me and because I was threatening them with eternal torture if they didn't. But they didn't. And I've had to go to a lot of trouble for you all. I even got myself now to a crucifix. To satisfy your own appetite for punishment and death. Look, I'm trying very hard to save your soul from eternal torture here. I'm offering to forgive you for being born despicable and not being perfect. If you accept it. Accept it? Yes. Uh, the thing is, I did this human sacrifice in the Middle East, and the way it takes effect for your eternal soul is that you have to hear about it and believe it. Now, if you don't start believing everything I've been telling you today is absolute fact, then after you die, I'm going to judge you as having not lived up to my ideal, which is perfection, and I'm going to burn you for eternity, okay? So you're saying I have to believe all this stuff and then I'm saved? Yes, that's it. All you have to do is believe this stuff and devote the rest of your life to me. Yeah, but the problem with that is... That oh, what now? Well, I can't exactly just start believing something by choice, right? I can't just decide to believe that I'm Napoleon just because I want to believe that I'm Napoleon. If I could, I'd be in a mental hospital. Uh, y yes, of course not. I intelligently designed you with very strong reasoning abilities. Yeah, so how come in order to have my eternal soul saved from your sentence of never-ending torture, you require me to believe something that appears absolutely ridiculous? That in itself is completely contrary to human nature as you designed it. You can't just choose to believe something. Yes, I realise most people can't, and those people are in big trouble, I know. But uh, I also invented this thing called faith, which is the ability to convince yourself to believe things on little or absolutely no evidence whatsoever. And it's not insanity, okay? Faith is different to insanity. If you believe something ridiculous on faith, it's actually very respectable. Faith? Hasn't an unquestioning adherence to outrageous, untested claims been behind every whacker who's ever gone on a killing spree? Look, reason, evidence, unbiased inquiry, they're all good, but they're not going to save you from hell. So I don't recommend you concern yourself with them too much. All right, let's go on. What happens after I die if I somehow choose to believe this stuff on no evidence in order to escape your eternal, never-ending punishment? Well, I'm glad you asked at last. This is where it gets exciting. If you accept my forgiveness for being born appalling, then you get to live forever worshipping and thanking me day and night and singing my praises eternally. Forever? Yes, for every minute of eternity, my people will be praising, worshipping, giving thanks, adoring me. You're going to worship and thank me never-endingly, firstly for having made you, and secondly for having the grace to punish myself rather than you for your crime of not being perfect. Yeah. Yeah, see how much I love you? But first, you have to believe, okay? But don't wait too long. You have to decide and commit yourself now, in the absence of evidence, before you can really see if any of this is actually true in an objective sense. Basically, I put you on Earth to see how effectively you can shut down the reasoning abilities I gave you and believe something that appears absolutely made up. Fail the test and you'll burn. Pass the test and I'll allow you to worship and thank me forever. Wow, that's really generous of you to give us that choice. Yes, I know. It's more than you deserve. It's grace. I do it because I'm the essence of perfect love. Goodbye. Yeah, thanks. You, you really cleared things up for me. Yeah, thanks.